Futures and Forex trading contains substantial risk and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. This content is not trading advice and should be used for educational purposes only. Please take a moment to review the full disclaimer. Hello, I'm Kevin and today we're diving into the configuration options for the composite volume profile indicator by Chartspots. You can easily download this powerful tool from chartspot.com slash composite. Just click the link below to get started. The composite volume profile is an advanced trading tool that analyzes all the volume data on your chart and displays it by price rather than time. This unique approach allows traders to easily identify key support and resistance levels, also called low volume nodes or LVNs, and also pinpoint areas where the price tends to fluctuate, referred to as high volume nodes or HVNs, providing you with actionable insights to enhance your trading strategy. Let's jump right in and install the indicator. Head over to the Ninja Trader Control Center, navigate to Tools, select Import, and then choose Ninja Script Add on. This will automatically activate your fully functional two week trial so you can explore all the features at no cost. Now, let's configure the indicator. Take a look at this chart of the ES futures. We've got one minute candlesticks here with about a year's worth of data loaded. To add the composite volume profile indicator, click the indicators button or simply right click the chart and select indicators. In the indicators window, open the chart spots folder and double click on the volume profile composite indicator. Firstly, let's tackle the display settings. With profile display side, you choose where the composite profile appears on your chart. Here's how it looks on the right, and here's how it looks on the left. Next is scale factor. This setting fine tunes how much horizontal space the profile occupies. Increasing this number decreases the volume profile's width. Decreasing it does the opposite, making the profile wider. Now moving on to the enable disable levels options. We'll start by disabling all options to keep things clean. Enable low volume nodes to have the indicator automatically plot these levels. They're crucial as support and resistance levels. Enable high volume nodes to highlight areas of contention where price action experiences significant back and forth movement. And enable the volume point of control to mark the price level with the highest transacted volume within the complete composite profile. Enable value area to show the first deviation by default set to 68% of volume around the volume point of control. Next up is plot configuration. Here, you can adjust the colors and transparency of the profile and the different lines like the HVN, LVN, VPOC, as well as the shading of the value area. By default, the value area is plotted in a darker shade of the Dodger Blue color. Let's move to the parameters section. This is where you can fine tune the algorithms behind the indicator. The value area calculation percentage allows you to set a different percentage of volume around the VPOC to be considered as the value area. The next three parameters are interconnected and influence each other. Tweak these if the default settings don't quite fit your specific product or time frame of your chart. Detection threshold HVNs Adjust this to increase or decrease the number of high volume nodes the algorithm detects. Similarly, detect threshold LVNs or low volume nodes works the same way for the LVNs. Lastly, 
maximum number of HVNs between two LVNs lets you display more than one high volume node between support and resistance levels. If you set this to more than one, the algorithm will identify the second HVN that's the farthest away from the highest HVN within that range. I do however recommend sticking with the default setting of one for most use cases. The other configuration groups are standard across all the indicators, but there's one important option to note in the setup group. The calculate method defaults to on bar close, which means the composite profile updates only when a bar closes. So on a chart with one minute candlesticks, it'll update once per minute, distributing the volume evenly across the price levels covered by that candlestick. The alternative is on each tick. This updates the composite profile with every tick, adding volume to the corresponding price level in real time. This option is more resource intensive, so only enable it if your system has sufficient computing power. My recommendation, stick with on bar close. It provides the detail you need without overloading your system. And that's it. You've now seen how to install, configure and fine-tune the composite profile indicator by Chartspots. With these settings, you'll be ready to make the most of the, this powerful tool in your trading strategy. If you haven't already, head over to chartspot.com slash composite to download your free trial and start exploring it today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials on getting the best out of your trading tools. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop a comment below or reach out through the website. Thanks for watching and enjoy your trading week.